A very good morning to all of you children. In today's session, we are going to learn about collective noun. What are we going to learn children? About collective noun. So before we move on to worksheet 3 that is collective noun, let's have a short recap. Okay, so are you all ready? I'm going to unmute you all. Let me see. Have you all are thorough with the previous topic? Okay, the first question to Prathana. Prathana, come on, tell me what is a noun? Yes, Prathana. Yes. Yes. Prathana? Yes, come on, tell me. Noun is a new word. Yes. Means animal or thing. Yes. Noun is a naming word. All of you, please do learn it well. Noun is a naming word. It names a person, place, animal or thing. Is that clear to all of you? Okay. So, noun is a naming word. It names a person, place, animal or thing. Okay. Sriveni, come on, tell me. What is a noun? A. Please don't look at your book. I wanted your answer. What have you understood? About noun. Yes. A noun is a? Place. Animal mm -hmm. or a thing. Yes. Uh. Mm. Come on, tell me. It's a name of a? When you say something, children, say it properly. So, noun is a word. Okay. Noun is a word that names a person. A place, an animal or a thing. Is that clear to all of you? Okay, Dulka Phil, come on, tell me. What is a noun? Dulka Phil, come on, tell me. What is a noun? A noun is a naming word. Yes, a noun is a naming word. Very good. Noun is a naming word. What does it name? What does it name? Come on, tell me. Person. Person. Place, very good. Person. Yes, once more please. Person. Place, person, place, mm. animal or a thing. Very good. So, a person, place, animal or a thing. Very good, Dulkafil. Okay. So, a noun is a naming word. It names a person, place, animal or a thing. Very good. Okay. Abu Tahir, come on, tell me. What is a noun? Yes, Abu Tahir. Yes, noun is a naming word. What does it name? What does it name? It names a... Come on, it's so easy. It names a... Animals. Yes, it names... A, mm, it names a person. First, we'll start with person. About ourselves. Okay, it names a person. Then... Uh, it names a person. Then... Or a thing. Yes, thing. Only person and thing. Anything else? Animal. Animal. Okay. Animal. And place. And place. Okay. So, it names a person, place, animal or a thing. Is that clear to all of you? Okay. So, stain. Come on, stain. Stein. No? Okay. Come on, tell me. What is a noun? Come on. What is a noun, stain? A place and mm. come on. What is a noun? Place. Noun is a what is a noun? Come on, tell me what is a noun. A noun is a a place and a place animal or a thing. Okay, noun is not a place animal or a thing. Noun is a naming word. It names a person, place, animal or a thing. Is that clear to all of you? Okay, so otherwise we can say it. Noun is a word that names a person, place, animal or a thing. Is that clear to all of you? 
okay yes. so when we learn something learn properly so noun what is a noun the question so you have to answer noun is a naming word yes very good what does it name it names so noun names a person place animal or a thing okay now let's move on to the so then we discussed about two different types of noun what are the two different types of noun we discussed mitra come on mitra what are the two different types of nouns we discussed ma yes come on uh mm. noun no what are the two different types of nouns we discussed a uh, common noun oh. uh, common noun common noun and yes common. what is that is right come on common noun and common noun and one more noun is there what is that common noun yes come on yes afrin come on common noun and hmm common noun and yes afrin unmuted quickly yes proper noun yes common noun and proper noun in the previous session we have discussed about the two different types of nouns they are common noun and proper noun now who can give me the answer what is a proper noun okay what is a common noun a fish come on what is a common noun yes come on first let us learn about the common noun yes what is a common noun the names given in common, common. very good ah yes of same kind are hmm. common nouns very good names given in common to a person place animal or a thing of the same kind is called a common noun have all of you understood what is a common noun is a common noun is a name given in common to whom to person to places to animals and thing of the same kind it is called a common noun very good now alrin jobi who can give me the answer what is a proper noun alrin jobi come on the next question goes to alrin 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 come on tell me what is a proper noun alrin special name yes very good it's a special name given to a person place animal or a thing very good alrin so we know very well what is a noun is and we also discussed about the two different types of noun that is a common noun and the proper noun and in today's session we are going to learn about the next type of noun that is the collective noun what are we going to learn in today's session children in collective noun collective noun what are we going to learn come on all of you say it okay. Collective noun. Yes, collective noun. Collective. What do you mean by the word collective, children? Collective means what? Collective. Anyone can say it. What do you mean by the word collective? Collection. Collection. Very good. Who said it? Aiden. Aiden. Yes, very good, Aiden. So co collective means collection, or we can call it as, or we can call it as collections. Collection. Collection. Is there any other word? Collection. 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 No. Is there for collection? Collective. Collective. What I said is what? Collective noun. We can call it as collection. Collection means you have understood. You will collect it and keep it. No. So that is called a collection. Or we can call it as. Is there any other word for it? For collection, collective. Is there any other words? Come on. Group. 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 Very good. Who said that answer? Ananda Krishnan. Ananda Krishnan. Very good. Very good. We collective means either we can say it has a group or collection. Very good, children. Okay. So you have understood. So collective means it's a group or a collection. Okay. You must have heard about the stamp collection. Have you heard about the stamp collection? Coin yes. collection. So when we collect something, it is not you are not collecting one or two. It is more than. It is a group. Lots are there. So we call them as collection, or we can call it as a group. Is that clear? 
so collective noun it's a yeah. group of person group of animals group of uh, places and a group of things is that clear to all of you it's not one or two okay so we call it has collective noun so collection means lots are there group means a group of children means many are there okay so when they are in a group we call them has collective noun is that clear to all of you yes ma'am yes, clear ma see your children yeah. you should know the difference between one and two if it is one we call it has one that is singular if it is more than one we call it has plural but collective noun is not plural form okay it is collective noun means many are there many. and when they are in a group we call them has collective noun is that clear is that you got the concept very clear to all of you so yes. many are there okay now in today's so in today's uh, session we are going to learn about collective noun okay so i hope it is very clear so it is not one it is more than one and it is a group okay so now let's move on to the collective noun are all of you ready yes 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 ma'am okay so we have understood yes, collective noun means it's a collection it is a group so it is not one two or three many are there so when they are in a group we call them has collective noun so let's move on to it okay yes so today in today's session we are going to learn about collective noun okay so now we are thorough with common noun and proper noun we are able to identify the common noun in a sentence and also a proper noun in a sentence we know that common noun is a common name given to a person place animal or a thing of the same kind proper noun is a special name given to a person place animal or a thing so today's in today's session we are going to learn about collective noun okay so let's move on to it so in this picture you can see in the first picture uh what is a children goat goat or a sheep okay goat or a sheep. so yes so if it is so here in this picture you can see only one, one is there okay so we call it has sheep have all of you understood there's only one is there how many sheep is here in this picture one one so we call it has sheep is that clear and the plural form of sheep is also as sheep. sheep okay sheep. we have already learnt in the previous in the uh, grade two the plural form of sheep is also as sheep okay sheep. but here in the second picture you can see more than one there is a group of sheep what do we call and it there is sheep. collective collective in the second picture all of you can see a group of sheep grazing in the field can you see it collective sheep yes it's a collective, collective. what do we call a group of sheep there is a name for collection it. yes what do we call a group of sheep no we can't sheep. say we say that sheep. it is a flock of sheep what do we call it a flock yes of sheep. a flock, a flock of, of sheep, sheep. sheep. Is that clear is that clear to all of you so for every noun there is when it comes to a group there is a special name given to it okay so when there is a group if it is one we call it as sheep but if it is plural the plural form of sheep is also as sheep but when it comes to group we don't say sheep or sheep so whatever it is we give a group for it so a group of sheep it is called as a flock of sheep what do we call it as children a flock, flock of sheep so flock is a collective noun here so which is a collective noun here flock is a collective noun that yeah. refers to a group of sheep is that clear to all of you flock yeah. is a collective noun which is a collective noun here flock, flock of sheep noun. have you understood so when it comes to a group we call it has flock of sheep here flock uh, is a collective sheep. noun so we have to learn the collective noun by heart because for each collective noun it is differs okay is that clear to all of you 
are. Yes. For a sheep, we call it has a flock of sheep. So the flock is a collective noun here. I hope it's clear. So flock is a collective noun that refers to a group of sheep. Clear to all of you? So for a group of sheep, what do we say it? Flock of sheep. Yes, come on, say it again. Flock of sheep. A flock of sheep. Flock of sheep. Now let's move on to the next thing. Flock of sheep. Here what you can see, children. Is there, there is only one fish there? No, no. Me are the flock of sheep. Yes, flock of sheep is over. A flock of sheep. A flock of sheep. What do we call a group of fish? Flock of fish. Yes, children. What do we call a group of fish? Group of fish. Yes, it's you can see in this picture a group of fish. What do we call it? Group of fish it is. A flock of fish. The collective noun for a group of fish it is. Shawl of fish. What do we say it? Shawl. H O A L. Shawl. What do we say? It is a shawl of fish. Have all of you understood? So for a group of sheep, we call it has flock a flock of, of sheep. sheep. Yes. And for a group of fish, we call it as shawl of fish. Now for a group of fish, it is shawl of fish. So what have you understood? So collective noun is a word used to name a group of people, animals or things as one whole. Is that clear? So what is a collective noun, children? A collective noun is a word used to name a group of people, animals or thing has one whole. Okay, when it comes to one whole, we call it as collective noun. So for a collective noun, for a group of fish or a group of... A shawl of yes, fish. It is for a group of fish, we say it has a shawl of fish. For a group of sheep, we call it as a flock of sheep. Is that clear to all of you? Flock and shawl. Shawl. Have all of you understood? Yes. yes. Now let's move on to the next one. Can, what, what you can see in this picture, children? A shawl of elephant. For elephant, for a group of elephants, what do we say? Shawl. Yes. So that's also we have to learn. Ah. Okay. For a group of elephants... We, the collective noun used for the group of elephants, it is herd of elephants. What do we say it? Herd, herd of elephants. Yes. Herd of elephants. Herd of elephants. So, collective elephant. nouns, as I told you, it should be learned. But Okay. So, herd of elephants. So, herd of elephants. Herd of elephants. Here, herd refers to a group of elephants. Okay, so herd is a collective noun used for a group of elephants. Elephant. Is that clear? We can't yes. say a group of elephants always. So for a group of elephants, we have a special collective noun for it. So we call it as herd of elephants. Elephant. Is that clear to all of you? Herd of elephants. Elephant. So you can see a group of elephants is not one, two, or three. So when it is in a group, we the collective noun used for a group of elephants is that herd. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. Herd of elephants. Herd of elephants. What you can say? There's no one people or who are people. there. You can see a lots of people are there. A group of people are there. What do you call a group of people? We call it as crowd of people. What do we say, children? It is a crowd of people. Is that crowd? It is crowd of people. A crowd of people. Is that clear? A crowd of people. So for a group a crowd, of people, crowd the collective of noun, we use so. The collective noun for a group of people, it is crowd. crowd. So, crowd, crowd of, of people. people. Clear? Yes. yes. Crowd of people. So, we have to learn it by heart. Okay. Crowd of people. See, a, a crowd of, of people. people. Okay. So, here, the crowd here means a group of people. So, here, the crowd, crowd. 
collective noun that refers to a group of people. So crowd, it is a collective noun here that refers to a group of people. Is that clear to all of you? Yes. So yes. We learned about four collective nouns here. So we go group of sheep. What do we say? Flock. Flock. Very good. Flock. Group of sheep. We the collective noun used for a group of sheep. Flock. Flock. And for fish. What do we say? Fish. Shawl. Shawl. Very good. Shawl of fish. And for elephants. Good. Good. Very good. Herd of elephants. And for people, what do we say? Crowd. Crowd. Okay. So, I think so we learned one more. So, in today's session, we learned one more. A dash of, a dash players. of players. What do we call a group of players, children? Do you have any idea? No. What do we call a group of no, players? Sure, sure. No, 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 no. No, the term word. If first team, okay. Have you not heard of this word? Yes. Play team. 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 Of players. You can see many are there in a game, in the players as such. Many will play. So when it comes to a group, team. group of players, we yeah. call them as team. Collect team. So team, team is a collective player. noun used for group of players. Is that clear to all of you? Yes. So we have learned about five in today's class. Five collective nouns. The first one we learned was flock, flock, shawl, herd, 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 crowd, crowd of team. people, and yes. team of players. Very team. good, very good. So I hope all of you have learned it very well. Okay. So have all of you learned it, children? Yes. In this session, we have discussed about the collective noun. So, what is a collective noun? So what collective noun is a group, group a word used to name a group of people, group of animals, and group of things as one whole. Okay. In the next session, I'll bring you a few things. Okay. Have you seen a bunch of keys? Yes, very good. Yes. I could see your picture. Okay, so all together when it is uh, hanging, we call it as bunch of keys. Okay. Bunch so, of keys. Bunch key. of grapes. Have you seen okay. bunch of grapes? Bunch so, all these are collective. Okay, so in the next session. Bunch of grapes. Okay, this is what it is. Okay, so what is a collective noun, children? Now let's move on to all of you. Yes. Collective noun is collection. Collective noun. So, we have to, they are all collective nouns, okay? So, what we have studied now, all are collective nouns. Now, there are the collective nouns. Collective noun is a word used to name a, a group, name a group of, of people, animal, animal or a thing. As one whole, okay? We'll include this also to it. As, as one, one as one whole. Whole means together. Have you seen As flower? one whole. Children, when it is one flower, yes, flowers. Okay. But when it comes to when it comes to one whole, we call it as bouquet of flowers. Okay, we call it as okay. bouquet. So it is, should be one whole. Only yes. then it comes as a collective now. Okay. In the next session I'll bring you a few examples. Okay, live examples. So that we will know it, what is a collective noun is. So all of you have a look at it. Collective noun is a word used to name a group of people, animals or things as one whole. Okay? okay. Yes, once more. What is a collective noun? A collective, collective noun, noun is a word used to name a group of people, animals or things as one whole. whole. So, what does a collective noun mean? It is a word. It is a word used for what? A group of. Used to name a group of people, animals or things as one whole. Only then it comes to the collective noun. So, let's revise what we have already learned. Team. Crowd. Crowd. Shard. For a group of. Uh, what do we call them? Flock. Yes, we call it as flock of sheep. 
What do we call them? A group of sheep. It is called a flock of sheep. Okay, so flock is a collective noun used to refer to a group of sheep. Clear? Now, next we have about a group of fish. What is the collective noun used for a group? A shawl of fish. Shawl of fish. Shawl. How do we pronounce it? It is shawl. S H O A L. The pronunciation is shawl, and the spelling of this word is S H O A L. Shawl or fish. Is that clear? Uh, fish. fish. Uh, so, for a group of fish, the collective noun used for the group of fish it is shawl or fish. All of you, please do repeat it. It is shawl or fish. Shawl or fish. Again, shawl or fish. Shawl or fish. I told you it should be learned by heart. Okay. Then here it comes. A heart of elephant. A heart of elephant. A herd of elephant. A herd of elephant. A herd of elephant. Now, so here in this picture, a crowd of people, a crowd of people, a crowd of people. So the collective noun used for a group of people is a crowd of people. So for a group of people, a team of players, a team of players, a team of players. Players. Team of players. players. Collective noun is nothing. There are collective nouns. Noun. Collective noun is a word used to name a, name a group of people name or a thing as one goal. As one goal. Example of collective noun. Yes. Let's move on to a few more examples. We have seen yes. five examples we have seen. Okay. First one is flock of sheep. The next one is shawl. Shawl. Then we went to the herd of elephants. Herd. Then we learnt about the crowd. crowd. Then the fifth one, the team. 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 Okay. Only we'll be learning for the collective, not only the selected ones, which are there. There is a list, is a very long list we have for collective nouns. For all collective nouns, it's not possible to learn everything in grade 3. So little by little. For grade 3, we'll learn what is there in your workbook. Okay. So we'll move on to a few more examples. Yeah. So when you're in a class, what do we call them as? A class of students. Class of students. That is the collective noun used. Okay. So when you are sitting in a class, okay, you see that the students are sitting in a class. We know that. So, the collective noun used for students, a group of students, is that a class of students. What do we call them? A class, class of, of students. students. Yeah. Class of students. So, that's why I've told you the collective noun has to be learnt by heart. Proper noun and the common noun, when you get a sentence, we know it, how to identify it. But whereas the collective noun, we have to know the word by heart. Is that clear? When we are asked to fill in with a collective mm -hmm. noun, so dash of students, you have to write there. The collective noun is class of students. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have to. Yes. Now, what do we call a team of players? A team of players. Team and players. Team and players. A team of players. Okay. So the collective team noun used for a group of players it is team. This we have already learned it. Now. Okay, this part we'll be doing it in the next session. So, we have learned all this. Nearly we have learned about six collective nouns in today's session. Okay, children? Yes? Okay, yes, we have learned about yeah. six collective nouns. Can I explain? Okay, so let's revise what we have learned. Okay, let me ask you a questioning session now. Okay, Vaiga, come on, Vaiga. Come on, tell me. What do we call a group of sheep? A um, group of sheep? What do we call them? What do we call a group of sheep? Yes, Maika. Mammy, friend. 
Can yes, the next question it passes on to Anom. Anom, come on. It's okay. Yes, come on. Anom. It is a gnome. Flock of sheep. Yes, it is flock of sheep. Very good. Very good. It is flock of sheep. The next question goes to uh, Reem. Reem, come on, Reem. What do we call a group of elephants? What do we call a group of elephants? Others, please be quiet. Others, all of you mute your audios. Only Reeve will say the answer. Reeve, come on, tell me, what do we say a group of elephants? Yes, Reeve, come on. Reeve, unmute it, please. Then you say the answer. Yes, come on, tell me. Elephants. What is that? A herd of elephants. Very good, Reeve, very good, very good. It is herd of elephants. It is herd of elephants. Very good. Then, uh, Rohan. Rohan, come on, Rohan. What do we call a group of fish? Shawl of fish. Very good, Rohan. It is shawl of fish. Okay, very good. It is shawl of fish. Very good. Brahmadat. What do we call a group of people? What do we call a group of people, Brahmadat? Yeah. A group of people, what do we call them? It is very easy. We should be knowing it. When people are in groups, what do we call them? Yes, unmute it, please. You're not unmuting it. I don't know. You're okay, okay. Then I'll, the question passes on to who hasn't got a chance here. Okay, Joe, work. Come on. Yes, ma'am. Yes, come on. People or teeth. Team. So I wanted when we uh, people are in group, what do we call? Which is which collective noun do we use? Team. Huh? Team. Say. It's not team. It's wrong. Daksha is not here. Yes, what do we call a group of people? Yes, Rida, come on. Children, we have to learn this by heart. Okay. I'm crowd. Crowd. Very good. It is crowd of people. What do we call a group of people? It is crowd of people. Uh, All of you please do repeat it. It is crowd of people. Okay. And the last one we learned about the players. What do we call a group of players? Yes, I move on to Advait. Advait, come on. What do we say a group of players? A team of players. Players. Very good, Adway. That is team of players. So with this, we are going to wind up today's session. Uh, we have already learned about six collective noun on today's session. And this session will be continued in the next session too. So I hope you have learned what is a collective noun. And we have already learned about six collective noun on today's session. Okay, children. It's time for us to wind up today's session, children. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not here. Austin, one minute, children. Austin is not here. I did not see Austin here. Daksha is here. Daksha. I did not see all these children here during the session. That's why I'm calling you. Devash is here. If it's Devash is here, please do raise your hand. I did not see Devash too. Okay. Then uh, Janice is here. All these children, I did not see them. And even Yedu. Yedu hasn't joined. Okay then. So let's wind up today's hey. session, children. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.